so we can talk to her? Listen, I know things have been tough at home lately. But this... It's just not gonna cut it. Not in here. Certainly not at the colleges that you've applied to. You're a great student, Brianna. One of my best. Lately, it's like... It's like you completely checked out. And it has to stop. How about we make a deal? A deal? You let me retake the test again next week, and I'll make sure you get to keep your job. A job? How's that? I won't tell the principal that I saw you pour whiskey in your coffee mug. No, I didn't. Maybe you didn't, but it'd be your word against mine. And your career will be over. And even if you are found innocent, that's how rumors get started. I'm just trying to help you out here. How thoughtful of you. I've got a better idea. Let's nice try. To say I'm concerned is an understatement. Lying, attempting to blackmail a teacher? You're lucky I'm not having you expelled. This behavior, Brianna, it's beneath you. And on top of which, this term alone, your GPA and attendance rates have plummeted, which is greatly going to affect your college acceptance rates. Who cares? I do. As do your parents. And you should too, Brianna. I don't know what it is you're trying to accomplish here. It's my life, right? My future. I can screw it up if I want. I know you're angry about what's been happening lately. Your parents divorcing, your dad remarrying. I get it. Do you really think these antics are going to change any of that? Mr. and Mrs. Williams, thank you for coming. It's Miss O'Dowd now. Right. I'm sorry. Brianna, why don't you go outside while we talk? So I don't get to defend myself? How exactly are you going to defend your behavior? Like you'd believe me anyway. Maybe if you gave us reason to. I'm sorry we're here doing this again. I think we should be saying that. Brianna is clearly lashing out. This is her way of trying to assert some type of control in her life. After recent events. We tried to leave her out of it as best we could. Of course you did. But that's a consequence of divorce. There's a fallout zone. No matter how much we try to contain it. And everyone, everyone in it is impacted. Now, Brianna's felt at the mercy of everybody else. So her acting out is her way of trying to regain some semblance of control in her life. Now, don't mistake that for me excusing what she's done. Punishment is definitely an order here. And expulsion if it happens again. What do you recommend we do? Regardless of what's happened between you two. Or how you feel about each other right now. It's very important that you form a united front when it comes to dealing with Brianna, along with any step-parent in the mix. Now, I know you don't like that, but I suggest that you do it for Brianna's sake. Okay. United front. Come on, Bri. What were you thinking? You are better than this. Maybe I'm not. You are. Start acting like it. You know what the best part about all this is? I get to hear the exact same lecture at Dad's. Now that's why we're doing this now. And so you don't take it all out on me. You're grounded this weekend. Grounded? I'm not 12. No, you're not. Which is why you need to stop acting this way. You're heading to college in a year. And you're still acting out. Throwing tantrums. It has to stop, Bree. Oh, but you two can throw tantrums and ruin our family? If this happens again, you'll be expelled. Is that what you want? Four months from graduation? Come on, Bree. Nobody can trust you anymore. Not your teachers, not your friends, not us. We don't know what's true or what's fiction anymore. 
Is this who you want to be? Besides, I think we've all had more than enough drama lately. Don't you? We're only saying this because we love you. The only person you're hurting is yourself. Are we done? That's up to you, are we? The grounding stays. If it happens again, you lose your phone. Nice. Maybe if you two had tried working together during your marriage, things would have turned out differently. You have everything? I think so. I mean, it's not like I can't come back. It's only a few miles away. I guess that's the good part, right? I keep thinking I'm going to get used to this part. You spending half the time with your dad. How do you think I feel bouncing back and forth? I'm so sorry, baby. This isn't what any of us wanted. I never imagined I'd be on my own now, having to share my time with you. Just before you go to college, when we have even less time together. Look at it this way. You get to catch up on the assignments that you're missing. And you get to spend time with your dad. And her. Yes. And Susanna. It's the new normal, honey. It's not ideal, but it's the way it is. And the quicker you adapt, the better. And he's still your dad. He loves you. And nothing and no one is going to change that. Hey, hugs. If you need anything, call me. I'm here all weekend. Bye, Mom. Call you later. Vague. No, no, it, it's fine. I'm just... 
out of practice with someone asking me out. I get it. It was the same way after my divorce. I had to retrain myself how to be charming again. I guess I need to keep practicing. No, it's fine. I would love to. Just not right now. It wouldn't be fair to you. I'm still decompressing from the divorce and being a single parent. I get it. But the offer still stands. You just let me know when. Thank you. So I'll see you in two weeks? Yes, and I will put a rush on these. No extra charge. Thanks. Like I said, they're the best, right? The only salon I trust. I get it. I'll be posting about it, believe me. Hey. Ah, I thought that was you. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you're the wrong person. Uh, you sure? Because uh, you did turn around when I called your name. I uh, have a friend named Kate, so I thought it might be her. Ah, is that so? I guess so, because it's not me. Have a nice day. I, I gotta say, though, it's, uh, resemblance is uncanny. Like I said, you're mistaken. It happens. I have one of those faces. I guess you do. Sorry, my mistake. No harm done. Have a nice day. Actually, it was sort of desperate. <laughs> what do you mean? Come on. Obviously, he was hitting on me. I look like someone he knows. Weak, but it works. Really? You can't tell me a guy has never made some lame excuse to talk to you before. <laughs> yeah, they have. <laughs> You'd think they have a better line than that, right? <laughs> Okay. 
Let's celebrate the day with uh, some ice cream and a mindless TV show. <laughs>
haven't you hit him? Kinky. <sighs> Not that way, perv. I think... I think she hit him with, like, a tire iron or something. Whoa. I know how crazy it sounds, trust me, but... I saw it. I figured she was having an affair or something. I mean, why else would she be sneaking out at that hour? Fair point. You gotta tell your dad. Tell him what? I saw my stepmom sort of maybe kill someone. Yeah, that'll go for a while. You saw her sneak out, right? That's something. Right, but it'll be her word against mine, and I'm not exactly considered credible these days. Not to mention, I'll have to explain what I was doing out after they grounded me. I'm not over great. You won't see me until we graduate. But if you're right about all of it, you're living with a criminal, possibly a murderer. Like you 
did the other day, it really means a lot to me and your dad. Actually, you know that we share something in common, just the two of us. We both love your dad very much. And I know I'm not your mom, and I'm not trying to be. And that's okay. I just want us to be friends. So let's work on that, okay? All right, no more bad dreams, all right? Okay. Good night, Bree. I know this is unexpected, 
And this certainly isn't how I wanted you to find out. Yeah, we're trying. No, that's not what this is about. I, I, I didn't even know anything about that. She must have overheard me on the phone. I went through the trash, saw the test kit. I don't know. No, I, I didn't do either of those things. I, I swear. We felt this would be a great way to bring everybody together. For you two to connect. It won't impact how much I love you. To be more love to go around. We should go. I think that's a good idea. Mom! Mom, no, you you have to believe me! Come on, Bree. You're lying. No, sweetie. You are. Let's go, Bree. So much for a united front.
suggestion? A family therapist is a hell of a lot cheaper than a lawyer. Even a bad one. Thank you. My two cents. I was wrong. It's time for more drastic measures. More drastic than calling the police. At least I'm doing something. I think we should take away her phone. Her phone? Why? As a punishment. Maybe if she loses that, it'll teach her how serious this is. How serious we are about what she's doing. Annie, you gotta put aside your feelings about what happened to us. Your feelings for Susanna. This is solely about our daughter. She's making up lies, and they're getting worse. This claim? That's slander. If it happens to somebody else outside the family, it's a lawsuit. I'm trying to prevent that from happening. I need you with me on this. United Front. Okay, I'm off. 
You shouldn't go back to your dad's until we know more. We'll have to explain it, and dad's already not listening. At least until we have more proof. Besides, maybe they'll find something. Bree, don't. It's too dangerous. What if she catches you? I'll be smart about it, I promise. No, leave it to me. Keeping her unaware is our best move right now. You just worry about school. Let me handle this. Fine. Call me. Like, every hour. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Do it for our daughter. 
Her name is Catherine Dunham. Or it was, before she changed it. Changed? This, this can't be real. Where'd you get this? A private investigator. That was who she and Brianna ran into that day. The one who called her Kate. He obviously was hired to find her. She isn't who she says she is. I can't. Why would she lie to me? You tell me. If she would lie about that, what else might she lie about? Let's ask her. Hi. She's right. This is me. It was. What? I changed my name three years ago. My ex-husband was abusive and violent. The kind of man who says, I'll never let you go, and he means it. So one night in the middle of the night, I left. I just snuck out. I changed my hair, I changed my, my name, everything so he couldn't find me. Is that why you never talked about it? Obviously, he got this detective to find me. I tried to hide it from Brianna so she wouldn't find out, so you wouldn't find out. Until I could just pay him off and he could tell my ex that he couldn't find me. Susanna, you should have told me. I know. I was afraid. Afraid that you wouldn't accept me for being with someone like that. Afraid that even saying his name would bring him back. Look, I'm sorry I lied to you. I should have told you. I just, I just wanted to leave my past behind me for good. If that's what you guys want, I think that's a good idea. No, it's not going to help anything. She's a liar. She's been lying to you this whole time about who she is. And she explained why. Look, was it entirely logical? No, but neither is fear. It makes you do things. Are you kidding? She gave you her reasons. Can you blame her? If this was any other woman besides my new wife, would you feel differently? Besides, this is not your concern. It certainly is when it involves our daughter. Annie, I think you should leave. Daniel, even if this is true... No, you do not get to tell me how to live my life. You lost that right years ago. No, I think you've done enough for today. <sighs> the next person that you hear from will be my lawyer. escape your psychotic ex. You need to take this seriously. <laughs> take what seriously? Your daughter's claim that she saw her stepmom murder someone? From what I understand, she hasn't exactly made herself credible lately. This investigator was hired to find her. Right as he does, he goes missing. You can't think that's a coincidence. You're right, I don't. I'll tell you what it is. I know McNabb, we all do. He's never exactly been the most honest PI out there. In fact, he's known for selling the dirt that he was paid to dig up to his target, as long as they paid him more. She says she paid him, right? Looks like he got his golden ticket and he skipped town. My guess is on a Mexican beach sipping my ties. He'll be back as soon as his money runs dry. It wouldn't be his first time. I'm sorry, Mr. Dow, but there's nothing for us to investigate here. He's still missing, right? Yes. But it doesn't mean that it was foul play. Or that the woman that your ex-husband got remarried to had anything to do with it. That is not it. But you see how it looks like that, right? Hallie? It's Annie O'Dowd. No, it's... 
it's not quite in yet. I'm actually calling because I need your help with something.
Any more luck? Not yet, but I'll keep looking today. Give her this. She hit her tracks well. The question is why? What is she hiding? I'm sorry for everything that's happened lately. Are you? What's that mean? You know exactly what it means. Rihanna, I had nothing to do with this. How could I? I don't know. Yet, yeah, you did. Like I killed that man? When are you gonna give this up? When you're in jail. Well, we both know you did. Someday you'll grow out of this. Get out of my room. Coulter. I guess she kept her maiden name. 
But not a single item of domestic violence or restraining orders. So he wasn't a violent stalker? Not that I could find. But he was a criminal. Before that, he was a pretty successful developer. At least that's the way he made it look. He's scamming people for funds to pay other people that he scammed. Just fake investments to finance his lifestyle. And his wife's? Well, until he was caught. By that time, the money had vanished, moved offshores, or who knows. Maybe Susanna took the money. He hired the P.I. to find her and get it back. I thought the same thing, too. Except he's dead by his own doing. Guess he thought it was easier than serving time. That's awful. Well, his financial partner in crime wasn't so lucky. She was doing 20 years. It was Roxanne O'Neill. She claims that Robert was in charge of the money. The jury didn't buy it, particularly when the money had already vanished. Maybe she hired the investigator. Find Susanna, find the money. Only one way to know for sure. Sweetie, what's the occasion? The end of a long week. Hopefully the start of a better one. 
your dad wanted me to give you this. He did? Yeah. He said after everything that happened, getting back some sort of normalcy might help. Why didn't he bring it to me? Oh, he's taking a nap. Guess the week caught up to him. But we spoke about it after dinner. Look, you want to go out, see some friends? I'm sure the last thing you want is to be here alone with me. Unprotected.
such a heavy burden to carry, especially for a troubled teen. <laughs> yes, run. You'll just spread the sedative faster.
friends. Love you.